Hello and welcome back to the saga. The last episode we sort of got the 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 labyrinth started and this episode I just want to take it right from where we left off and just keep rolling with it and just see where see where this heads. So this is the end of the path so far. If I jump down, which I did, you see that it started off up there. That's sort of where the throne room is. There's a secret passage that's going to be there. It's not there yet. But it goes down to the stairwell. It goes down. There's a crack in the wall. You go through there. A, you find another area, and it turns into that big room. It's going to lead out of there. It's going to come along this way. And there's going to be a grand entrance into a grand hall. And... This is going to, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's inspired a lot by certain minds and certain lands and certain books that have been adapted into movies about rings and lords. So I think that's, that's, that's enough to kind of give you guys know. It's enough to give you guys know about what's up. So if that was the first room, even though it's a stairwell, I'll call it the first room. And this is the second one. That means that this is going to be the third one. And the first thing I'm going to do, probably, is just make a flat area and it's going to actually take up a lot of this length because, you know, why not? We have this big hollow area. Might as well make it look cool. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what I did. What I have going on here is basically a floor of half slabs. I decided to go, I think this is like 19 or 20 wide, and just have this go down here, and this is sort of like the floor. The reason why I have half slabs and have them just right above, so a lower half slab, is because things won't spawn on these, even when it's dark. And I want to do some lighting stuff, you know, some uh, interesting lighting effects down here, make it a little bit more gloomy and not as well lit, let's say, as, as other parts. So we're going to be doing some interesting things with shadows and lighting. And I'm actually glad it's nighttime because I want to show a couple things. Like the one thing about half slabs you have to remember is that if there's nothing underneath them and there's light under them, then they will match the light level of whatever is going on underneath. Unless you put at least another half slab under them. And then it sort of norms out. So... What I would do is make sure that all of these either have a solid block or have a half slab underneath them. I have these little little spots that sort of jut out, sort of, um, I, don't know, I didn't want to make them perfect, but I want these to be like little rooms that shoot off the, the main area in here. So this is going to be kind of like a hallway with pillars go down. And then over here... I'm thinking it's gonna just gonna start a descent a little bit more. I also like it sloping down here because ground starts here, and maybe that can cover some of it. Because I want people to sort of forget that they're still above ground. Like technically they would be in here, but I want them to think that oh, we just went really far down, and we're going further and further down. So I'm gonna get these set up, and I'm gonna start off with the uh, the next part. Well, you'll have to take my word for it that that's done, but it is. So the next part is to figure out where does this, this room come into this entrance? Or more importantly, where does this entrance come into this room? So in order to figure that out, I'm just going to make one over here. <laughs> I'm not going to make it as centered. What I'm thinking about actually is really making this look weird. So hopefully none of you are OCD out there. I just more wanted to kind of start at this corner of the entrance. Then you have to kind of work over to the other wall. Because there will be something important in that room. And maybe something important in that room. I'm not sure. But then it will be a little bit more centered over there. So um, that's, that's kind of the rough idea. I think the floor is going to extend this way. Uh, the wall, I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of it. I guess there is there is room over here to do stuff. So what I could do is have the wall 
wind back here. It'll be two blocks wide, unless I feel like making it three blocks wide, which I might. It might feel like that. But I'm just going to run it along here and then figure out how to connect it to that. I think that's looking pretty good. I just have to uh, throw these in. And we have another winding thing that gets to go this way. So I'm going to be keeping this three wide. So I think that's that's doable. And Like I said before, if you ever need it, if you ever want a passageway to be dark but not have things spawn, use the uh, use half slabs. It's sort of it's very very uh, gamey, but it works. And now this part, I know that this is gonna have to go up to join that, so I'm gonna think about this. I'm thinking just a simple stairway. It's probably fine. So it's got a solid block underneath each, and there'll be a solid block beside each, like that. That should keep any uh, strange visuals from coming in. I might even do something strange to this. Maybe like this, and maybe, I don't know. This could either be a tunnel all the way, or it can turn into or by tunnel I mean like with bricks or it could turn into something different we'll see All right, this looks like it might be a sort of a squarish room I think we could uh... the the stone theme is good for in there make it look more like a cave but I wanted to start transitioning out of looking like a cave with just being uh... bricks stone bricks so I can actually use this side of the wall here as part of the wall for this so I believe I will and get a little square going on here. And for this, I'm going to have this slope up as if it's sort of matching the stairs. Like with each height change, have a, a different height be changed. And now here, this is what we have. I think this would actually look better framed like that. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. So, you come through here, it's a bit more cave-ish, but you go in here and you realize, oh, this is more not cave, you know, because maybe you're, maybe you don't have your grasp of words as well as you would other days, so you can say, oh, this is not cave, so, you know, maybe that could happen. I'm just going to put these around here, and it's going to lead out. I have no problem with doing something like this. And one last touch just to make sure stuff doesn't spawn around is putting torches on top of all those blocks. Okay, so this so this next part is going to be a fun part, I think. It's going to be figuring out where exactly the pillars that are going to hold up this hall are going to be. All right, looks like I'll be going for the three wide theme where everything's three wide. Put some half slab in there. Torches. And there we go. It's a, uh, make sure it's lined up. That looks pretty good. So this will be sort of like the main strip down the middle here, which for some reason this door will not be uh, yielding to. Who knows why? So what I might do, just to kind of block the view at first, is put like a huge pillar, like right here, in front. So maybe, maybe this won't be the center. You know what, now that these pillars are in, I'm actually starting to think that maybe this should be, like, off to some weird angle too. Just to, um, I, I don't know, I've, <laughs> I don't want to explain myself. I don't know why I don't want this to not be in the center. How many negatives is that? All right, I'm going to sleep this off. Okay, I've collected myself. I think I'm happy with what's what's going down here, so I'm going to show you what it is. 
basically there's four entrances into this room. So one over there, one there, one here. I'll talk about that in a moment. And uh, this one ended up being centered. These are where all the pillars are, and there's these are going to be brought up because they'll just be walls. So there'll be walls between the pillars. I'm not really going to worry too much about what happens inside of these. Like I'm just worried about this room. So these will be walls, pillars, walls, pillars. And I actually kind of like this because check it out. Look, come on, come on over here. I want, I'll show you some. Okay. When you come in here, it's sort of like okay, yeah, that'll be a wall. All right, still walls, still walls and pillars. You can see the pillars out there, but when you come in here, it's going to open up a lot. And like you can already see the passageway there. Uh, you'll be able to see that one right after, and you can see that. So. I think that's going to look really cool. And I pretty much got the outlines done here. I did want to talk about this though. So I found out while I was hollowing this out, and if you could see by the dirt having stuff on it, that this is pretty much the outside. Like, this is almost a flat wall. Actually, here, I'll just. I'll just show you what's going on. <laughs> It's basically this. We're right. We're basically inside this very not much room here. I guess I could. What I could do is like build this out. So maybe there's that. Maybe I could do that. Maybe, maybe I could. But I, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on that square right on it. And I'm just going to say, you know what, all I, hmm? all I need is just to know that this, this door is here. And I even started putting stone around this because I'm starting to think that uh, this area might have more stone creeping in from the mountain it's carved out of. So like this line here is not going to be regular wall. So that's going to be kind of fun. It's going like, to taper in slowly as it goes up. Here we are back on top of the castle, and what I want to do is not at this level, but the one below it, have just all stone. Like, t it's going to be a lot of stone, essentially. I, r I realize that it's ambitious, but it's necessary, maybe. So, I guess no one's ever going to actually see this stuff. Oops, I'm not even doing it right. What am I even doing? People might not even people might not even see this stuff. In fact, they won't if all goes well. But if say like I have a creeper blow up or something, and it's just dirt up here, then there's gonna be like there, there's no structural integrity to that. So I'm going to do this and then do that. See ya when it's done. So right now the castle might seem a little bit look like Two Face. Uh, the reason that is is because somewhere along the line I stopped thinking. Actually, the real reason is I started thinking because I thought, wait, why am I using up all the stone bricks if this stuff is going to be covered? Kit covered? Cut. It's going to be buried by another layer of dirt. No one's actually going to ever see it from above or below, so I started going to cobble. But that's all... Hmm. Well, I thought it was all done. But as you can see, there's a there's a shadow in there. I guess I'll just finish this up really fast and uh, show you guys what it looks like down there. Alright, I think that's all of it. We're... Oh, come on! What a... Oh. Oh, wait, never Okay, never, never mind. We got it all. Just uh, I've been up and down that thing uh, too many times, thinking I got everything. All right, so this is now quite a bit different with that uh, with that massive ceiling. Uh, it's perfect, except I don't know why, but we have some strange 
lighting glitches going on here. So, I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll deal with that. But this is the first part, just seeing what we got. And I don't believe it's going to go all the way up there. Ooh, I should talk about that. So I've uh, I've been busy at the sheep farm. They're no longer red and black. They're all just black now. Uh, I left all my stuff somewhere else. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm going to get some of these walls going. And we can get a better look at what I'm trying to do here. For this wall, I'm just kind of walking back and forth. Uh, bringing up whatever's needs to be on my level to my level and I think this is a good height to start making it start to hang over and do things like this is gonna slowly taper inside so what I what I could do to make that happen is not that because that's the wrong block actually where is it there it is I could use oh, not that that like every once in a while, put in um, put in an extra block, and it doesn't have to be too many. That's probably fine actually, and we can just go up another level. And what this does is it makes a gradual overhang that isn't too crazy. So like, we do that. I guess I'm picking spots that look like they could use a, a thing there. <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, that's really bad instructions on my part. I apologize. Basically spots that look like it's not steep. So like this is that part right there that I'm pointing at is really steep. So what I could do is I could put one like there. And that's pretty justified I think. But what happens is eventually that makes this part steep. The next the next row up so you can look for that and eventually from the bottom it starts to look like a natural curve or a natural line in the rock that goes up let me see uh, yeah I think that's looking pretty good and this pillar is gonna go up there and if I run over here this pillar will go up the side and it'll hide anything else so no one's the wiser just looks like a cool wall. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this as not complicated as I possibly can, even though it's kind of complicated. Is that you see the torch, and you see the light, and you see the pillar. As the light goes up the pillar, it goes away more and more, but there's a sudden stop where it gets really much darker. And then at this point, it doesn't get any darker than that, my only problem with this is that you can still see it, so it can't disappear off in the darkness. Like I'd really like the ceiling, I'd really like the ceiling to disappear off in the darkness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help that out with a little bit of this. You know, if I'm if I'm going to do something right, I might as well do something all the way. So I went ahead, and no cutting corners. I want to show you what this looks like before I do any of the weird stuff to it. So I'm going to put down torches only as few as I think I'll need to light up this area in a way that I want to. And let's see, yeah there's one more over here. Wow it's just it's just hanging out right there. Alright, then I'll have to put one... Where would I put one? Right here? That looks good. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. So, I think this is what we got. This is what we're working with. This is the before. And hopefully you can see it on the video. I realize this is in HD quality. It's actually like in 480. That's what I'm kind of forced to record in. But hopefully it shows through as you can still kind of see the ceiling and stuff. It's not like it disappears into uh, darkness or anything. And that is exactly what I'm going to try to remedy. Rem remedy. 
with this. So, actually, let's let's get it all out. Yes, there we go. I was busy in the sheep pen. So I'm going to start over here in the lowest point just to, um, because I think that's probably the easiest. That's essentially what's going to start happening. That might not look like much now, but when this whole wall and everything is happening, <laughs> when it starts happening, it's going to get really dark really fast, and you're actually not going to be able to see any of the features going up there. It'll just make these lights seem that much more intense the closer you are to them, like they're actually flame. And I think it looks really nice. And the trick to this is to always tr basically treat it like the light level. Like you can start to see that it clearly changes on these three. Just treat it like it's the very next light level that happens in any direction, like from this way to there. And what it ends up being is just another diagonal line usually. But I'll get a little section done to show you what I mean. I didn't have enough to finish this whole thing, but I have enough for this section over here. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the result that I wanted. And I'll come here to this original example. I actually explained it wrong. I said to go with just black wool starting at where the, uh, where the shadow ends. But really, you also want some gray wool. So this these little spots used to be where the black wool started. This is where the darkest part of the wall is. Like if you put another block above that, it would still be the same color. So that's where the new gray block would go. And then above that would start the black blocks. And uh, in case you wanted to see, um, this is sort of... <laughs> Like, this is the reason why putting the torches down first is a good idea, because it sort of sets the template for where the shadows go. If you put down torches afterwards, you can risk stuff like this, because that looks not as... It looks more cartoony, like, these are cartoon shadows. Versus this, ends up looking a bit more natural, especially the further away you get. Now, uh, the, the pillars are a bit harder to do this, because there's two different faces... To these corner pieces and so the shadows get darker quicker on this side than this side so i just went with the side that goes light the furthest up but it, anyways here's what that looks like and here's a bit of a contrast this is this part that is not finished versus these parts and i think that that is enough to justify all the extra effort I also like the fact that you don't really know just how high the ceiling goes. Like, it could stop here, it could start stop way up there. And I really like the illusion of a an endless ceiling. Also, it even looks good with uh, stone brick, stone blocks. And I actually think it looks a little bit better than with uh, stone bricks, because you can start to see the texture differences here. But... I think that's okay. And like here's a here's a good uh, side by side comparison. This is it without the treatment, with the shadow treatment. And this is it before it. And I just I really prefer the uh this this one. So hopefully by next week I should have all of these all of this area complete. Then we can move on to whatever other project there is because they're starting to uh back up just a little bit. Like, I haven't touched the village in a little bit, and that's that's kind of a, a big one there. And, you know, I haven't added any new farms to the, uh, the stuff, you know, <laughs> things and stuff. And then there's other entirely different builds that I haven't even begun to start yet, so... One thing at a time, though. This this one is I'm I'm could be pretty happy with this for one. This is um this was kind of resource heavy, so I'm happy with this just for today or this week. So I guess I should say thank you for watching. This has been Red McNed. So long.